A cheerleading coach accused of sexual assault is out on bond tonight. 22-year-old Mitchell Greenstreet was arrested over the weekend. He's accused of sexually assaulting a girl at Colorado Cheer Academy All-Stars in Colorado Springs. Now, the police report was just released this afternoon, and CARE on News Channel 13's Rana Navini has been looking into it and is also finding out what safety measures parents can take when choosing a sports camp. And Rana, youth sports organizations in Colorado not required to run background checks on employees or volunteers. Yeah, that's right, they're not, but some organizations choose to do so anyway. The owner of the Cheer Academy says she ran a background check on Green Street and we did too. He has no prior record. But there are still things parents can do to make sure their children are safe. The parents of the alleged victim had full trust in 22 year old Mitchell Green Street. They even paid him $200 for private lessons with their daughter. But according to his arrest affidavit, that's when the assaults happened. The first time, the 13 year old victim says Green Street touched her inappropriately and tried to kiss her. A week later, she says he pinned her down and raped her while she screamed for him to stop. I think, I think it's very concerning for a parent, especially if you're sending a, a child away to a summer camp for several weeks. Craig Smith, chief investigator with Bright Star Investigations, says you don't have to be a private investigator to do some digging. You just Google sex offender registry Colorado. Uh, and you'd be able to pull up Colorado's sex offender registry and do a search there. Do you understand the charge and the possible penalties? Yes, sir. You do? Yeah. But like Green Street, searching a sex registry and doing a background check wouldn't have done any good. He has a clean record. I mean, the sad reality is somebody can have a clean background and <clears throat> could potentially still be a predator. Smith's advice then, get to know the coaches and who's in charge. And most of all, always trust your gut. Your gut's the most important thing. And Smith says if you want to run a background check, it's best to do it through a private investigator because they have access to law enforcement grade databases. Reporting live in studio, Rana Novini, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Rana. By the way, Green Street is scheduled to be back in court next week. And according to the arrest affidavit, he admitted to having sex with the girl, but he claims it was consensual.